Over 500 million years ago, the land we now call Herkimer County, New York, lay beneath a shallow sea. Sediment settled, forming limestone, which slowly transformed into dollar stone. Inside this rock, tiny cavities, called vugs, formed. Over time, hot, silica-rich fluid seeped in, and something magical began to grow. Quartz crystals started forming, but unlike most quartz, these had space to grow freely. That's why they developed rare, double terminations, points on both ends. The result? Perfectly clear, naturally facet quartz crystals, known today as Herkimer diamonds. Nature's precision-cut gems, forged in ancient rock with no human touch. Not diamonds. Not ordinary quartz. Just 500 million years of natural artistry. Herkimer diamonds were first discovered in Herkimer County, New York, USA, in the late 1700s, although an exact year is not well documented in historical records. These unique double-terminated quartz crystals were named after the county where they were found in the late 18th century. Early settlers, especially in the village of Middleville and surrounding areas, came across them while working limestone outcrops. Though called diamonds, Herkimer diamonds are actually a very clear form of quartz with exceptional clarity and natural faceting. Although no definitive name is recorded. However, it's known that early settlers and farmers in Herkimer County, New York, began finding the crystals while clearing land or breaking up dollar stone rock for building and agriculture. These settlers noticed the unusually clear, naturally faceted crystals and began calling them Herkimer diamonds due to their brilliant luster and diamond-like appearance. The area later gained fame in the 19th century as mineral collectors and geologists began to study and value these quartz crystals more formally. Today, Herkimer diamonds are mined in a handful of sites across Herkimer County. Some are commercial mines, others are open to the public. The most famous? The Ace of Diamonds Mine and Herkimer Diamond Mines Resort. These mines sit on layers of dollar stone bedrock, where generations have been chiseling out nature's sparkling treasures. Unlike industrial diamond mines that use heavy machinery and explosives, Herkimer Diamond Mining is a hands-on, low-impact operation. It's all about manual labor, patience, and precision. The essential toolkit starts simple, a good sledgehammer, a variety of chisels, a rock hammer, and steel wedges. These are used to split and break up the dollar stone, the hard sedimentary rock where the crystals are hidden. Some prefer long pry bars or even drill bits to wedge open larger rocks. For stubborn areas, a mini jackhammer or electric rotary hammer may be used, but with great care. Vibrations can damage the delicate crystals inside. Safety is just as important as technique. Protective gloves, steel-toed boots, and shatterproof goggles are must-haves. Herkimer mining is no joke, shards of dollar stone fly with every strike, and misjudging a swing can cost you a rare crystal or worse. Next comes strategy. Experienced miners listen for hollow tones in the rock, subtle signs of a bug beneath the surface. They also search for natural fractures or seams, which can lead to crystal-filled pockets. These scenes act like treasure maps. A few well-placed hammer blows can turn a crack into an opening, revealing crystals that haven't seen sunlight in 500 million years. But the key is restraint. Go too fast or swing too hard, and the crystal might shatter right inside the rock. It's a mix of brute strength and surgeon-like precision. The payoff? A flawless, double-terminated quartz crystal, glinting with natural brilliance. And the best part, it was pulled from the earth with nothing but basic tools and human effort. I will leave links of Herkimer diamond mining tools in the description and comments. The Herkimer diamond mining process is unlike any other gemstone extraction. There are no conveyor belts, no blast zones. Here, it's just stone, steel, and skill. The first step is scouting the dollar stone for signs of crystal pockets or vugs. Miners examine the stone surface for hairline fractures, raised ridges, and previous digging marks. Some even listen for hollow sounds, indicating an air-filled cavity beneath. These scenes can be the first clue that something extraordinary is waiting just behind the surface. Once a likely spot is chosen, the real work begins slow, strategic chiseling along natural fault lines. The dollar stone is tough, and opening it without damaging the fragile crystals inside takes finesse. Sometimes a wedge is tapped into place, creating just enough pressure to crack the stone without collapsing a vug. When the rock gives way and a crystal glimmers inside, 
that's the moment miners wait hours, even days, to experience. Herkimer diamonds form freely inside cavities, growing unattached to the rock walls. This is what makes them double terminated, with points on both ends. Miners carefully remove these crystals using small picks or even their fingers, trying not to scratch or chip the surfaces. Once collected, the crystals are given a quick field rinse to remove loose dirt and debris. Some are already sparkling. Others need a bit more love. Crystals are sorted by quality, water clear specimens, those with black carbon inclusions, and rarities like skeletal herkimers with deep etching or unusual shapes. The best specimens are packed day, with care. Unlike mind. traditional diamonds, Herkimer diamonds are not cut, they are preserved in their pure, natural state, just as the earth formed them over half a billion years ago. Maybe not. Look at that everybody, look at it coming out. There it is. Oh, look at that! Look at that everybody! Well, how oh, about that? Holy crap. That is some massive crystals sticking off of there. That Oh, oh that's wow. a beaut. That is museum quality. Oh, that's a nice the one. Hole. These museum-grade Herkimer diamond crystals can fetch thousands. But true collectors know, the real value lies in its perfect natural symmetry, something no machine could replicate. The clarity, symmetry, and natural polish of these crystals make them show ready right from the mine. Each one is a geological time capsule. It's a process that takes more than strength, it takes patience, intuition, and respect for the Earth's slow, silent craftsmanship. Because these stones don't need cutting, what you see is exactly how they came out of the ground. It's not about brilliance under a jewelless light, it's about natural perfection, formed deep underground over half a billion years ago. Collectors prize flawless or unusually shaped Herkimer diamonds, sometimes paying thousands for museum-grade pieces. These beautiful natural Herkimer diamonds, double-terminated quartz crystals, the continuously extraction of these crystals. 500 million years in the making, and just a swung hammer opened the rock, revealing these beautiful Herkimer diamond crystals. Hidden inside solid dollar stone, Herkimer diamonds rare, double-terminated quartz crystals wait to be freed by hand. It starts with knowing where to look. Once the vag is open, the real challenge begins, getting the Herkimer diamond out without damaging it. These crystals can be perfectly formed, with sharp double terminations and flawless clarity. But they are also fragile, any pressure in the wrong spot, and they'll snap or chip. Inside the dollar stone, crystals grew suspended in these hollow pockets. The inside of a vag can sparkle like a galaxy. Miners carefully remove the surrounding rock to expose the cavity fully before touching the crystal. Ooh, my. You. Crystals aren't attached, they formed free floating in the space. That's why Herkimer diamonds are double terminated, pointed on both ends. To avoid breakage, extraction is done slowly, often by hand. A small crystal might slip out easily. Sometimes a small amount of mineral oil or water is used to soften compacted sediment inside the pocket. With patience, the crystal often loosens naturally, like it's ready to leave the rock. The key is support. Experienced miners lift the crystal from beneath or along its sides, never by the tips, because even a flawless point can break with the slightest twist. A larger one could take 10 minutes or more. Each crystal is placed into a padded box or wrapped in soft cloth. One chip, and the value and perfection are gone. And once it's out, it's handled like a rare artifact. Each one is a million-year-old sculpture, untouched by man, until now. Ace of Diamonds, the craziest ledge layer ever. That's a beautiful one right there. Over here! Over here! 
Most quartz crystals grow with a single point, the classic wand formation with a rooted base. But double terminated crystals are different. They grow points on both ends, like arrows forged in the earth. A perfect double terminated quartz has two sharp points, symmetrical prism faces, minimal inclusions, and ideally, no matrix attached. The most famous types include Herkimer diamonds from New York, Tibetan quartz, and Brandberg crystals from Namibia, each prized for clarity, symmetry, and raw beauty. Beyond beauty, double terminated quartz is thought to channel energy in both directions, ideal for meditation, chakra work, and amplifying intention. They are used in crystal grids, worn as talismans, and collected as mineralogical masterpieces. Born in darkness, shaped by time, and polished by nature, Patience, double terminated quartz crystals are a geological wonder. Two points. One origin. Infinite meaning. Meanwhile, metaphysical buyers seek them for their high vibration energy and use them in healing or meditation. But value goes beyond price. Every Herkima diamond carries a story of ancient oceans, volcanic shifts, and human hands finally bringing it into the light. Whether it's sold at a gem fair, gifted in a necklace, or simply admired on a shelf, a Herkimer diamond is priceless in its own way, an uncut masterpiece from nature's vault. Though they are not diamonds in the traditional sense, Herkimer diamonds have carved out a unique space in the world of gems, thanks to their clarity, energy, and natural beauty. The most popular use is in natural crystal jewelry. With their double terminations and water clear brilliance, Herkimer diamonds make stunning focal points in rings, pendants, and earrings, without needing any cutting or for seating. Designers love them for their raw, organic look, each one unique, just as nature intended. In the metaphysical world, Herkimer diamonds are prized for their high vibrational energy. They are believed to enhance clarity of thought, spiritual connection, and dream recall. Often used in meditation, reiki, and energy healing, these crystals are thought to amplify other stones and clear energetic blockages. Due to their unusual clarity and the presence of ancient inclusions, some Herkimers are used in geological or fluid inclusion studies. Trap bubbles of gas and oil offer clues to the Earth's ancient environment. Collectors and museums seek out rare or exceptionally clear Herkimer diamonds, especially large clusters or crystals with phantom lines, in hydros, or unusual growth patterns. Whether displayed in a cabinet or gifted as a natural wonder, Herkimer diamonds are more than just pretty stones, they're pieces of deep Earth history. Jewelry, healing, science, or simply admiration, no matter how you use it, a Herkimer diamond offers something more than sparkle. It offers connection to nature, to history, and maybe even to yourself. Once extracted, the crystals may be covered in dust, clay, or fine dollar stone powder. But beneath the grime lies their natural brilliance. The first step is a basic rinse. Crystals are soaked in plain water to loosen surface debris. No harsh chemicals, just water, patience, and soft tools. A soft bristle brush is used to scrub gently around the crystal's facets. Care is taken not to scratch the surface, especially on clear, high-grade pieces. Even after a quick rinse, some Herkimer sparkle like they've already been facetied. That's because these crystals form with natural terminations, there's no need for cutting or polishing. Next comes sorting. Crystals are grouped by size, clarity, termination quality, and unique features. Each one tells a different story of its formation. Some have rare traits, like carbon inclusions, creating a smoky black interior. 
Others form in doubles or clusters, where two or more crystals grew together in harmony. Water-clear Herkimer diamonds are the most sought after. But those with inclusions, rainbows, or etching are prized by collectors and healers for their character and energy. Finally, the best specimens are packed with care. No tumblers, no polishers, just the natural beauty of a crystal pulled straight from ancient earth, sorted by hand. Unlike traditional diamonds, Herkimer diamonds aren't judged by carat weight or cut, but by their clarity, shape, and uniqueness. A small, water-clear crystal might sell for $10 to $100, while a larger flawless piece can fetch $1,600 or more. Double-terminated twins or rare inclusions like anthraxolite, a carbon deposit, can push that even higher. In jewelry, a Herkimer diamond set in sterling silver might retail between $60 and $300, depending on the size and setting. No matter what they are priced, you should try mining Herkimer diamonds because it's another way to relax mentally while appreciating the gift of nature, used in different ways, or mined for their beauty. Subscribe for more videos like this.